Now onto the last topic of today, which is for me devastating. I love Batman as a character. Since I was a little boy, I had my homemade Batman outfit. I've always loved his character. And as I've come to know more about his character growing up, I've just loved the dynamic that he has, that he is essentially a psychopath. He is going out in the middle of the night dressed up as a bat called the Batman, hunting a bunch of psychopaths who essentially exist in some ways because of his existence. He brings out these crazy people and then has this moral code that prevents him from actually wiping them off of the edge of the planet, which leads him to put them in this place called Arkham Asylum where he should be himself. I love that story. I love the idea of his character and he has no superpowers, which makes him even more interesting because all of these other superpowered heroes around him are afraid of him because of this myth of who he is and that he is someone that you wouldn't mess with. I love that. I absolutely love that. And we've seen a lot of Batman iterations over the years. We've seen Michael Keaton. We've seen Adam West. We've seen George Clooney's terrible you know, version and Val Kilmer, although I still have a place in my heart for those. And we've had the Christian Bale ones, Ben Affleck. Most recently, we've had Robert Pattinson's version of the Batman, which people, you know, his casting was divisive to say the least, but when he was cast, I thought, what a great decision. He is, Robert Pattinson's just like someone you feel like is just an odd dude. He feels like someone that you might think might become Batman in real life just because he's decided to take on this vendetta or something. He's just like, he's just such a great actor and he's so good in everything I've seen him in. And the Batman itself was financially a great success and critically a great success. People loved it. The cinematography, which by the way, Greg Fraser, who did the Dune and the creator did the Batman and the cinematography on that is just awesome. Those first 10 minutes where you're introduced to Gotham and the feeling that people have around Batman and that beat down, epic, 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 epic. And that came out in 2021, I think it was. Um, and all of us have been eagerly awaiting Batman 2 because it's the only good thing to have come out recently in the, the DC Oh, along with the Joker, but it's like one of the most recent DC films that have come out that have been awesome. It's a long time it came came out, and in 2022, they at CinemaCon they brought this big presentation. Matt Reeves came out. It was like the Batman Two is coming out, and all of us have been waiting for that. But to break the internet's hearts and any Batman fan, they've said the Batman Two will be coming out a year later than anticipated now being moved to October 2026. The world's probably going to be ended by then. Why are we... It's just so long. It's so long. And it is only like two years, I guess. Over two years. It's like two more years. But it's such a long time. It's such a long time to wait. And for those of us who are eagerly awaiting this, we've got to wonder why on earth has this been pushed as far back? Now, there are some reasons that have been listed. The major one being the writer's strikes. Now, I get the writer's strikes have pushed things back quite a bit. But the writer's strikes and the actor's strikes should not have pushed us back a year. I mean, a few months maybe, a few months delay. But I think there's a lot more going on behind the scenes than they're letting us no, there is a mystery afoot. We need some investigation here. And I don't have the answers. I'm not the guy to do the investigation. But there's a few theories I have as to why this might have been delayed. Matt Reeves has been at work on the Arkham series. So it originally it seemed to be an Elseworld kind of thing along with like the Penguin and the Batman. But now it seems to be part of the DCU. And... We've got the Penguin series coming out as well, which Matt Reeves has been involved in. But this has been something they've been working on since 2022. You know, uh, you know, amidst writer strikes and so on, I, I just feel like either the script is done, but they just really like that release date of October, or Matt Reeves is just stuck and can't quite figure out how to put this 
story together in a way that people are happy with. There's other kind of discussions around, you know, sound stages being a part of it, that sound stages are being filled up because of the high level of production happening with the DCU and so on. So they're having to kind of push it back as well. So there's all these kind of things going around. At the end of the day, it leaves us with this situation, which is that Batman's only coming out ages away. It also brings up another question, which is what happens to the DCU's Batman? Because prior, James Gunn has kind of said, we're never going to release the Batman and our DCU Batman within six months of each other. So if the Batman is coming out in October 2026, well, unless they're going to put it out before that, which I don't think they're going to do, seeing as they've still got production on like Superman, then they're going into, you know, Supergirl and Green Lantern and like all these other things. I don't see how the Brave and the Bold is going to be coming out before the Batman part two. So most likely we're going to see the Batman Brave and the Bold coming out in 2027, which seems like even further away. There's all these kind of things to think about. You know, the DCU has potential to be like multi-billion dollar franchise if they set it up correctly. Whereas the Batman with Robin Pattinson, Robert Pattinson will make, you know, a, a, a collectively, you know, over a billion dollars, maybe $2 billion if the trilogy is amazing. But as far as longevity goes, I don't think Robert Pattinson is going to be playing the Batman for decades. Whereas whatever they're setting up with the cinematic universe and the DCU will be an ongoing thing. So they're obviously putting a lot of priority on that. Some people have assumed that maybe the Batman is going to be cancelled. And there were reports going like this a while ago, which we kind of chatted about. I don't think that's the case. If the Batman wasn't going to be made, then James Gunn would have just come out of the gate. He's the boss. He just said, look, we're not making it. Or it's not happening. Or wouldn't comment on it at all. Like, it's just, he said, no, we are doing the Batman too. We are doing it. So there's no reason not to. People loved it and so on. So it's not being cancelled. I just don't believe that at all. But... The only thing that can soothe my conscience and make me feel good about this news is that the ba the Penguin series is coming out later this year, which we're all excited about. I can't wait to see it. I love Colin Farrell in this role. He's so good. And we're going to get to see that. There is no reason why. if The reason why they're locking the Batman 2 because of that October release time they believe it's a good release time because it's supposed to be released this next year, October. So obviously they like that time. There's no reason why they can't do a Penguin season two. And if they could do a Penguin season one and then a season two before the Batman comes out, at least then I've been filled with enough of the Matt Reeves Batman cinematic universe where I feel happy. I don't think anyone will be unhappy knowing that we're going to see the Batman, the Penguin. I think we've we've heard rumors that uh, Robert Pattinson's Batman has been on maybe as Bruce Wayne or as the Batman on the set of The Penguin. So we'll see him there. But if we get to see him a bit more substantially in The Penguin Season 2, if they're going to do that, that'll be really cool. And I think that'll satisfy the fans in a really great way and bring back a lot of exciting things. If that's not the case, it's just such a long ride before we get to see this iteration of Batman again. There's probably a lot of you out there thinking, I'm happy to have no more Batman. Let's tell other stories. But for those of you who love Batman, I think this is devastating. But what do you guys think about this? Do you think that this is a mistake? Do you think that they are prioritizing the DCU stories over the Batman, Matt Reeves stories? Do you think that uh, this means that they're going to do a Penguin Season 2? Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you down there.